In their new lingerie campaign, American Eagle stopped photoshopping their models to promote a healthier image for women. There's been a lot of mixed reactions. So what do you all think? Not sure, right? Well, we performed our own photo shoot to put this message to the test. Today's photo shoot, we're going to be focusing on three models, and it's all about unretouched photos versus retouched photos. Retouching can make you look younger, can make it, you look skinnier, and then it can even get rid of things like freckles. It's like the magic wand. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. I'm a plus size model. Okay, good. Some designers go way too far with retouching. It doesn't even look like me to a point. You went from a size 10 to like a size 2. Yes, perfect. I'm actually very excited to see the difference between the before and after. I'm probably going to like the after. I don't mind a little help these days. This is before and after. Whoa, oh that's God. scary. <laughs> I'll go with the second photo oh, any day. <laughs> We're going to show everyone what these pictures look like. The three images of these ladies in their natural form first. And uh, now let's see what happens when these are retouched. Mm, well, we polled our audience prior to the tape, and we asked them what they thought. Which pictures did they like better, untouched or retouched? 56% of you said you liked the unretouched. 44% right. said you liked go. the retouched. And uh, Rachel's going to ask a few audience members why. What's your name? Samaya. Samaya. So you looked at these pictures. Which ones did you prefer? Uh, I re preferred the unretouched photos. It's it's just amazing like what you can do with Photoshop, but they totally cut her waistline and it misrepresents the model. Like when you're a model, you usually don't have a say in what they do with the pictures and it just, it's not a real representation of who she is and she's gorgeous she as she is. is. They, they all are. And the ladies who took the pictures, which ones do you prefer? Go for it. <laughs> oh my God. I just turned 65 in October. And you look fantastic. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 25 or 35. Good. That's so when neat. I see a real picture of myself, I, I am shocked. I like, wow. so if I can get a little help in a photograph, I don't mind. I am so <laughs> I, I, I heard there, I mean, there is something magical about, about retouched photos, but I thought you ladies looked so great beforehand. I, I really, something looks so fake about them after they've yeah. been retouched. Oh so, my but goodness. I also think, I also think it's not, retouching is now different. They now remake, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, They're touch-ups sure. and totally remaking people. And I think that's what the issue is. They're just going so overboard that it's outrageous. They're well, creating it, new people. It's interesting that women say within three minutes of looking at a fashion mag, 70% of these women felt guilty, ashamed, and depressed because what they're looking at is a fabrication. Yeah, it's not And real. only 5% of women out there actually look at all like these women do in the fashion mag. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an unattainable and, goal for them. And we know, because we meet these guys all the time at events and things, that when you see some of these, I'm not gonna mention any names, when you see these A-list celebrities mm -hmm. who are not, you know, on the cover of magazine, you're like, what? Wait, are you serious? You know, yeah. yeah. You know, so it, yeah, you know. Like totally different A statistic that surprised me is that 90% of women admit to the fact that they're so insecure about their bodies that it's preventing them from doing at least one thing, whether it's wearing a bikini or a bathing suit or wearing shorts or going certain places. Ladies? Even if it's just as simple as going out without makeup sometimes. Mm. Because, I mean, I was made fun of for my freckles when I was younger. So now that I've kind of grown up and seen that not everybody is this cookie cutter impression of a woman that everything's beautiful whether you're a plus size model you have freckles you have wrinkles you've all done stuff to earn that that's like, great do you do you embrace your freckles i i love my freckles. it's funny how this it really does get back to the very beginning of the show where we were talking about these like fake avatars of remaking someone mm -hmm. at yeah. the end of the day i think just real human beings in their natural forms is the most beautiful thing in the yeah, for sure. a great yes. representation of natural Absolutely. <laughs>